What's up? What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Buzz? What's up, everybody? Trolls, YouTube models, YouTube fans, YouTube fan. What's up, you guys? So, y'all already know it's Wednesday. What is up? I'm here. It's hot. Let me tell y'all. I don't really know if it's just me, but I'm hot as hell. Irritated. I've had like this really long day. Like, when I say long, like, it's, it's not even that late in the day. Honestly, I have been home for probably like, let's see what time it is, it's 5.30. So I've been home for two hours. It just really seemed like it just got so long, like midday or maybe not even midday. But you know how you just, you just seem like you just get so irritated just so irritated from it it could be like the simplest thing but that simple thing could just multiply and multiply my morning started off early with just taking the grandkids to school like i normally do you know what i'm saying i take the grandkids to school my grandsons take them to school then at nine i had to go to my cpr and first aid class first of all i didn't even know what time this class was going to be over i had to sign up for it pay for it online it said nine o'clock. They didn't give me no ending time. I knew it had to be at least four hours, but I'm like, well, four could be like five, and five could be six. So, what's it going to be? But it ended up being four hours, and it was really interesting. These four hours went by so quick, but I learned how to do CPR and um, Heimlich maneuver. How do you say that? You know, what I'm saying I learned how to do that today, and I did learn how to CPR. So that it was really, really interesting. The 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 way that you can help someone out. So you know that ends at really you know one eleven. So it was four hours and eleven minutes. I got my little certificates. Bang that out today. Then I seen the gym on the way to the place. So I decided I would go when I was done for just like an hour or so. I did join the gym. My daughter Nate took me with her as her guest on Saturday and or was it Sunday I think it was Sunday today's Monday so yesterday so Sunday she took me as her guest at EOS Fitness and I really actually liked it I walked four miles did four miles on the treadmill you guys I was like I was astonished I was amazed by my own self because normally after like a mile or two I'm getting off I'm I just it's time to get off but you know I think like I need like certain things to distract me like Music is great, but I need more than just music to distract me from standing there and wondering how long I'm going to do this, how much longer I got till I get to this timer, how much longer, how many calories. Like, music is really not going to take my that my, my entire focus away from the machine itself. I know with me, I need something to, that's going to distract me. So I just brought my headphones. Make sure I have my USB charger cord and watch the Walking Dead new episode on AMC Plus. Okay, this was early morning. This was probably like about 930. You know, when you at AMC Plus, you can actually watch Walking Dead before anybody else does if you have AMC Plus. So that's what I did. And I just watched it twice. I watched the show twice. So, you know, not even a full twice, but like I was on there for a good a good minute. And I was just so happy. I was so happy. And I told myself I was not going to join the gym, y'all. I've been told myself that. That's why I go on my walk. And that's why I exercise here in the house with Grow With Joe. But lately, you know, it's just so hot. And I still, I kind of feel like sometimes I force myself to go for walks. And sometimes I feel like I force myself to work out in the house. Because, you know, it's so hot out here. When you go for a walk, it's like, it, it's, it does really do you good. And I'm not going to stop going for outdoor walks. But just to go to the gym and be able to walk on the treadmill is just like a huge difference so i went there today after the cpr and first aid class when i got in the car i seen that i had low tire pressure i didn't even stay for the full hour i wanted to hurry up and get the gas and get the air for the tire and then i would have to pick up my grandsons and mind you this day two at the gym y'all like that's day two at the gym i'm, I'm so proud of myself i get on the treadmill and I'm, I'm this time i'm not watching the walking dead i'm watching this other show that i found on the tlc channel but um i did that for a while and then i did this other machine where you put your feet up i don't know what it's, it's called but it just works your legs and your butt so you know i was on that and i left okay so i get in the parking lot get in the car now mind you i'm on this street really you know a busy street um, nothing but stores all around. Um, one of those busy type of streets. Like, okay, I'm going to get some gas because my gas light had came on. And I'm going to get some air in my tire. The the tire light came on when I got in the car and left the uh, CPR place. 
that's when it came on. I remember seeing all these gas stations when I'm driving there because I'm just, this just is like a really busy street. It took me probably like 10 minutes after I got off the freeway to get to the actual, you know, building. Long story short, okay, it's fucking hot outside. Please tell me why I went to four fucking gas stations. Not for no gas, but for some goddamn air in my tire. I could have got on the freeway and probably made it home, but who wants the chance that when it's like 103,000 degrees outside? Like, I was so pissed off. I've never felt like I've been so impatient outside in the heat in my life. Like, you know, I got out of one, I go to one gas station, you you put your card in, it, they, it charged you $2, you know what I mean? And But I'm standing out there for like the full five minutes as the air. Meanwhile, I got this weird white guy behind me that pulls up and he's just wiping off his red pickup truck with a shirt. Like he's getting in the bed of the truck and he's wiping it off and it's like 130,000 degrees outside. Plus I'm feeling air coming out that hose. So I'm like, what the fuck, this is not working properly? Okay, so then I go to the next one. I go to the next one. There's this lady sitting in front of it with her truck. And I'm like, you want to move over so I can get some air? Oh, it's out of order. I'm like, are you serious? That that wasn't even the second one. That's the third one. The second one that I pulled up to, I go up to the air thing. The piece is missing that you can't even hook it up to your car. Then the fourth one was the one that finally freaking worked. I'm like, by then I'm, I'm hot and I'm sweating. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting pissed off by now. So finally I'm, I get that. And now it's like, I'm running late. So Nay had to pick up the kids for me, which was great. I appreciate her help so much, but it was like that one part of the day just made it seem so freaking long, like overly long. And it just started out so great. I, I tell you, it really, really did. The workout was good. I'm glad I did leave when I felt it was time to leave. Today while I was working out, I watched a show that's from the TLC channel um, called Ready to Love. It's an all black um, show and it just has people like that's in their 30s and 40s and even 50s looking for love. So it's a really interesting show. Um, they, I, there's three seasons. It's new to me and I'm on season two. I like it. It's really interesting. The people's, the way they vibe and all. Really, really interesting. So, you know, if you've watched the show Ready to Love, let me know what you think of it down below. But so far, I like it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a really cool show. Also, big shout out, thank yous to everyone in the comments last Wednesday that informed me that there are compression socks on Amazon that are really cute. Let me say thank you to all you guys who wrote that in the comments. I didn't even know that they had compression socks that were cute. I, I honestly thought that you had to wear either the ugly white or the ugly um, beige or the ugly black ones. Like, I really didn't think that they were coming out with medical grade compression socks in cute patterns. When y'all told me that, I just... As soon as I read that that day, when y'all told me that, I went straight to Amazon and I got some that same day delivered to me. I spent an extra $3, honey, to get my socks that same day. I, I was able to buy a pack of seven for $24 and I made sure to pick the right strength because some of them have like strengths. Like I kept my original box from those ugly beige ones. So my strength is 20 to 30 MMHGs. I'm not really sure what that stands for, but it does mean something. So I was able to find some like that. So I got seven pairs, one for every day. And I got some really, really cute ones. Like, so thank you everybody for letting me know. Like, look at these. Aren't these so cute? These are adorable. Yes, I have these other ones that look like that, that are red lips all over them. Really cute patterns. I'm really, really pleased. A pack of seven was $24. So, and I plan to buy some more from there, but I'm really happy with those. And that, you know what I'm saying? Now I'll be trying to pair it and match it up. So that works out great. So thank you, Divas and Amazon. What I tell y'all, Amazon Prime, you get your shit on time, girl. Yes. Also went back on Amazon. This was the other day. The same day, I think that was it, was it in the, it was in the order with the socks. Um, but it, it didn't come that same day was this gel. So I went on, I went on YouTube looking for some really good gel because I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not a huge fan of the eco styler gel for laying my hair down and holding it in place. Like 
it doesn't work for me. It does not hold my edges down. It doesn't hold my hair down. It's, it's just so watery. It's not one of my favorites. I was using like the hair gel, the hair edge tamer from my first wigs that they send out. You know, they send me out a nice container. I had like about four or five of them finally ran out. So I had to look on YouTube. Y'all know YouTube is like the best thing ever. You can look up anything on YouTube and find out information like the true answer for. But on YouTube, girl, you can find out if your man is cheating, if they talking about you, how to fix a car, how to give birth to a baby, how to put on eyelashes, how to get high, how to make a skirt out of a shirt. You, you find out all type of shit. I have never heard of this brand. I don't know where the hell I've been, but Style Factors Edge Booster, okay? I did look for a certain hair type. I said 3B to 4C hair texture. My edges might be not as thick or coily, you know what I'm saying? But them bitches be a hell to lay down too. I don't know if it's because I sweat or whatever, but they don't stay down like that. But I don't want to use just got to be gel on my hair by itself alone. So I put something that's a little bit more greasier to be like the barrier. But that still don't hold like that. This stuff, girl, oh my goodness. This was $10. Now they have other strengths and other types of different hair gels. This stuff, this stuff is good. Oh my goodness. When I tell you that I just put this on here with a, with a little bit and brushed it with my toothbrush, girl, and it just was like stuck like girl and what when i say it's stuck it's like not moving but it doesn't make it hard and it's easy to still brush up if you wanted to like this stuff is fucking amazing if y'all have used this who has used this if you let me know what y'all think it is there are different scents but i've seen the ladies more um reviewing this particular scent right here this color right here but there's different scents like there's a yellow one like i guess it's lemon there's a green one I think it's a red one or whatever, but I see more reviews on this particular scent, this color. So I just went for this one. But $10, best damn $10 I ever sent. I'm about to do the subscribe and save so that way I'll never miss a beat when it comes to laying these edges down, okay? Yes. But we're going to jump right quick into this real talk. But if y'all want a real talk, send me an email to either Muffin is My Lovers 2012 at gmail.com or April's Real Talk at gmail.com. Make sure to put in the subject line Real Talk. And if you want to change the names of those who you are talking about or yourselves in that email, let me know that you've already done so. Because if you have not, then I will go ahead and do that. And then on top of that, let's get into this Real Talk, you guys. All right. All right, you guys. So this one is actually a response to my email um, response last week. Basically, this is Flo from last week. Remember the young lady who I named Flo because she was so quick to be in everybody's business. She was worried about her so-called associate who she really wasn't friends with, wondering how her so-called associate um, felt about her own man sleeping with somebody and having a baby that a so-called might be his baby and not his godson. It just was like an entanglement. It all boiled down to Flo was being nosy and messy. I did let her know in the email. She was being such email um, in the email. She was being such nosy and messy. And she sent me an email the 8th of September. Okay. So this is in response to that. Hey, April, it's Flo thought about what you said and you're absolutely positively right i'm in the wrong this time i definitely need to mind my own damn business and stay out of her torture i also need to go back to school and learn how to proofread a message damn i was all over the place huh guess i had too much cognac okay thanks for putting me in check and keeping it 100 appreciate it look now for one flow I appreciate that. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's like some real woman shit right here. I appreciated that email because she ain't have to email me personally at all. If that was me 
and you was talking about me like that, girl, I wouldn't have said shit. I wouldn't have emailed you. I would have probably been mad. Me, personally, I would have probably been mad that you told me I was being messy and I need to mind my damn business. I Not probably. I would have. That's me. I would have been mad. Straight up. No chaser. I would have been mad. Because she came through and sent me that email letting me know that she was in the wrong, that's what real women do. And I like that. I appreciate that. Because I'm going to say, I'm, look, I'm being a real woman and telling y'all I wouldn't have sent no email too, all right? I'm keeping it 100 real with y'all. I wouldn't have told you uh, thank you or whatever. But I appreciate that. So thank you, Flo. I appreciate that. And thank you for emailing me straight up. I feel like, you know what? Sometimes we have to be accountable for our actions. And a lot of us, we, we aren't. And that, that really sucks. But when it comes to like being a woman, I think like we all need to just be like there for each woman. You know, we are women. We already have it hard enough in this world. So let's stand together and let's try let's try to uplift one another. I know there's some that you just can't uplift. There are some that ain't worth uplifting. There are some that just like, look, bitch, look, I don't like her. I get that because trust me when I tell you, I'm there too. There are quite a few bitches that I just don't like. And it is what it is. Will I uplift her? No, bitch, I won't uplift her okay if she was on her last breath i would definitely help her because i'm not that mean and nasty but i ain't trying to be uplifting i'm not captain save a hoe i just think like when you we can be you know really mature grown women and you know say that we were wrong about something then i i like to see that i like to see that in women especially with grown women black women any woman any person in general you know what i'm saying so i appreciate that email because you know i i didn't want i honestly didn't want to seem like i was coming off too harsh to her either like i do have a heart you know and i don't want to make anyone feel like less than that's not my intentions you know what i'm saying but i do try to get my point across you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I definitely don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, okay? But if you do come for me, bitch, I definitely will come for you and could care less about your feelings, straight up. So, with that being said, we're going to move on to the next real talk. Hey, April, you can call me Marie. My best friend, you can call him Darnell, is hopelessly in love with his girlfriend. You can call her Tay. They were together years prior and broke up because he claimed that she had too much going on with her. Fast forward to now, they're back together. He plans on staying with her for good this time. However, each time he talks about their relationship, there's something wrong from exes to baby daddies, who she been with, fucking for money, what she spent her money on, etc. It all brings out issues that was the reason their previous relationship didn't last. But since he's so determined to make it work, he's seen the signs but deciding to ignore them. He's been paying bills, giving money, shoes, and other gifts for her and her kids because she wanted them. He said he was stepping in and doing what was right. On one hand, he thinks he's doing what he has to do as her man. On the other, he feels like they should be separate for now. I really just feel like she's using him. I tell Darnell all the time, it's strange that he's doing that because he's cheap and he got his own kids. Plus, sis has two jobs. How can I talk to him about this without him feeling like I just don't like her? Thank you in advance. We got a good friend here. We got Marie who is best friends with Darnell, okay? And they've been friends for some time. But Darnell, her best friend, is also hopelessly in love with his girlfriend named Tay, who he been with before. They've been together. They got a history. And the history is shit just really don't work out. That's the reason why they, they broke up. So now she's feeling like, Marie feeling like Darnell being used because Tay is got him out there tripping. He like lost his fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? She basically whipped him. That bitch pussy with him. Who knows? But she got kids and he taking care of her kids by somebody else. And he buying her stuff. He buying her and her kids stuff. He paying bills. This girl got two jobs and ain't paying for a goddamn thing. She got a free ride. You know what I'm saying? The girl got a free ride. You know what's so crazy? Women will be like, oh, if that nigga don't pay my rent or my bills, then he ain't shit. I feel like that. And then sometimes I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
it would be nice if if you had a man that just paid for everything without any type of you know complaint or repercussions you know what I'm saying like and you can also keep your money or you didn't have to work but always having your own money and always working is always a good idea for anybody even if you're not the breadwinner and that person is telling you no you can stay home you don't need a job I still would want my own money because you don't need nobody throwing enough shit up in your face okay it would be you know say I, I don't know like that that, that that it's nice to have someone to cover you 100 but then it's like wouldn't you want to help too like I, I don't know that's just me like i don't i don't know how to like feel about that because I'm, i've been so used to taking care of everything myself and then when i did have a mate it was still like more of me i felt so i think i just still want my own money but i I would definitely probably want to split the cost. Like, let's share this responsibility because, you know, you're trying to work together as a unit. So I would really want to share that responsibility. But it does seem like Darnell's being used by Tay because he's got his own shit going on, his own kids. Meanwhile, he over here playing stepdaddy and um, Mr. ATM lover, okay? He got, he got, he got this girl in his pockets. For real, for real. And Marie want to know how she going to talk to him about the shit because she feel like he being used. Honey, I feel like he being used. If this, if Tay got two jobs, why is he paying all her bills? What is she doing with her money? And did, did she say fucking for money? There's all type of issues. The issues that Marie said here, she said they broke up because they claimed that she was doing too much. Now they're back together. Something went wrong from ex's baby daddy who she's been with fucking for money what she spent her money on so you, you know something for one i don't i would never want to be in a relationship that got too much drama and too much beef like for real like love is already like something that you gotta fight through at times you, you know what i'm saying like not all the time but you know sometimes y'all have y'all moments when y'all love each other y'all arguing stuff but like that's enough and like to have your spouse your mate have drama like on their ends like baby daddies and twerking for money or fucking for money and, and whatever kind of drama that that's just too much and that's just definitely not mature at all like you know what i'm saying all of that that drama that shit is a headache why does anybody need to be with a headache, okay? When you got a bitch that got so much drama and so much drama behind her or a nigga that got so much drama behind him, trust me, you don't even need to be bothered with them. That is not your drama, honey. Let them have at that on their own time, own space, own place. Let them have at it and you stay on the other side, okay? I'm telling you something, Marie. That's your friend and, and you seem like you are a genuine person and very caring about Darnell. You like Darnell? Hmm. What's up with you and Darnell? Why you why you ain't with the nigga if he's such a good friend? He seemed like the way you care about him, he seemed like he a pretty good dude. So what's up with that? Um, I'm just messing with you. That's your friend and as a friend, if he if he knows, if Darnell knows that you his real true ride or die friends, you know what I'm saying? What I tell y'all about friends. If you a real friend, you a ride or die. You should never have to worry about how you're going to approach your friend and talk to them about something that's really important that might benefit them, okay, or might harm them. You should never have to second guess how you got to approach your friend because if you know you a real ride or die friend, a real true friend, then your friendship is going to withstand any bullshit that might come and try to break up your friendship. You know what I'm saying? So the talk that you can have with Darnell, you do your normal talk, cause I'm pretty sure that's your good friend. Y'all been hanging out, y'all kick it, y'all chill, y'all text, y'all talk. Then I'm pretty sure he knows about your, you and you know about him. Why would he feel like you don't like the girl? Is it because you've come at him before about situations with her? If you feel like he feels that strongly, like you may not like her, then maybe there is a way that you might need to approach him. Sometimes people, you need to just approach them softly. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you need to approach him and let him know, you know, Darnell, I love you. I care about you like you're a brother. You're my best friend. You know what I'm saying? I never want anything negative to come your way. And when I say negative, I mean, it could be anything. I don't want anything to hurt you. I don't want you to feel pain, sadness. I don't want you to go through anything you don't need to go through. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean by that. Negative, that negative balls it all up, okay, into one. 
but I don't want nothing negative to come your way. And I love you and I want, I'm want i looking out for your best interest. You don't have to say, you know, you need to leave her. You need to leave her alone. What you should tell him is just be very aware. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people don't take it as you attacking them or attacking the other half. When you say, just be aware of certain things, you know, I just want you to be okay. So I, I would say, I just want you to be aware and just, you know, just be really careful. Okay. And did, she did say something else. It was, what did she say about Darnell? On one hand, he thinks he's doing what he has to do as her man. And on the other hand, he feels like they should be separate for now. If he feel like one part of him, he got the, he got like, you, you know, some, he got both. He got the devil. And he got the angel for real, for real, because the, he he's sitting here talking about on one hand, he feel like he's doing it because he should as a man. And then the other hand, he feels like they should be separate. Some people will probably feel like, yeah, as a man, that's what a man should do. So some people will probably feel like it's, that's the angel, too. That's not that girl got mad drama with her. She got bullshit going on drama with baby daddies. OK, effing for money. You know what I'm saying? Just too much beef. That's 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 not safe zone. That's not a comfort, comfortable situation because for one, it's not a comfortable situation if he has to sit there and then think on the other half that they shouldn't even be together no more again. OK, if that dude got to think like that on the other half, then he best to go with the other half. That angel right there that's telling him run for the hills, Darnell. OK, that's what you need to tell him, too, honey. Like once you get into the groove of talking with him and asking him and telling him, like, listen, I just want you to be aware. I want you to be careful. Look, you know what I'm saying? Then let him know, like, you know, one minute, you know, I'm only concerned because, Darnell, I see you as, you know, you feel like as a man, you should do these things for her. And then on the other part, you feel like. Like you need to just leave her alone if you feel like you can easily say i feel like i need to leave her alone then you need to go with that gut feeling and it's not even a gut feeling sometimes that be god y'all for real sometimes that be god letting y'all know you need to ease back and stay away from certain people you know what i'm saying i told y'all don't invite evil into your homes sometimes we do and we don't even know okay if you a real true ride or die friend honey and he knows you're a real, real true ride or die friend then you ain't got no worries you know say no issues being able to have to talk to him like you would you just tell him this is coming from a place right here i'm not telling you to leave her alone but what i am telling you is just be aware that's all sometimes people don't like when you tell them well you need to leave them alone because they feel like you are trying to invade okay and even though they probably do take your advice as advice and also they do take it to heart and they also listen to it sometimes people do feel like you're invading their space when you say that and you're also probably like feeling they may also feel like you disrespecting them because they might also love that person that you trying to tell them about it's nice as a woman to get gifts from a man it's nice to get gifts from whoever okay you don't even gotta be a woman it's just everybody like getting gifts and shit okay but when you being like abused like like in a negative way like he's not getting hit on not as i know but if she got drama like that's like some psychological shit but like who wants to go through drama like i don't i don't want to be in a relationship with somebody and have to have drama with they baby daddy or they baby mama like you know what i'm saying because i'm just not for all of that at all i don't care to be in a beef driven relationship like can you imagine being with someone and the other person in that relationship just got like baby daddy issues or baby mama issues and baby mamas want to fight with you like could you imagine that like that would probably drive me the fuck insane like that would make the person like myself be like you know what it was nice knowing you like i'm not about to sit here and, and argue with your baby mama he might feel some type of way but you know something you wouldn't be a friend if you didn't say anything you're gonna sit there and let the man just suffer silently and not say nothing as a real true friend you best to say something people get mad every day b all right bitches get mad every day b niggas get mad every day b okay that's what it is people get mad every day b but they get over that shit real quick maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but they'll get over that shit but people get mad every day b and then people also apologize and people also come around the bushes after a while and realize what the fuck you said was right after all okay so listen you looking out for somebody's best interest 
That's your friend. Let them know. Don't feel no type of way. And if they get mad with you and they don't want to talk to you, then oh well, you know what I'm saying? You still gonna be their friend and you'll still be there for them. But sometimes you gotta let people go through some shit. That's what all I got to say. But on that note, I'm going to go. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this real talk video. Um, mouth is dry. My eyes are red. Okay. I'm enjoying my life. And I'll see y'all on the next real talk. Or maybe even tomorrow's video if you decide to chime in and watch. But I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. You know what I'm saying? If you could do it two times, then do that. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.